again. Welcome back to CoffeeNate.com. I am your host, Nate, Coffee Nate Smith, and this week I'm going to talk to you about something really cool I found on Twitter. Twitter is a great tool to find people that are interested in the same things that you were interested in, find conversations that you can get into, find products that you're looking for, and just meet some really cool people. And this week, actually last month, I met somebody really cool that makes these awesome mugs. And this is the mug that I ordered from them. It is the Twitter mug, and it says right on there, boom, at Coffee Nate. Uh, he makes these by hand. It's mug maker at M-G-M-K, ah, at M-U-G-M-K-R, mug maker, at mug maker on Twitter. And their website is mugrevolution.com. Check them out because you can offer, you can order some amazing coffee cups, different mug styles. You can even choose what side of the, of the mug you want your handle on. Uh, different designs, different colors, and if you're like me, your mug is an important part of your daily coffee ritual. Uh, I know that I always grab the same mugs. I have a few go-to mugs, and this is my new go-to mug. If this one is clean, it's the one I'm going for. And you know what? I've even washed it a few times in order to drink out of it, which is, you know, my wife is thankful for that. So um, give their site a shot, uh, a visit, mugrevolution.com. Check out the awesome coffee mugs. You can get them in different sizes, different styles, uh, personalized, different things on it. You know, you can get your own logos on it, whatever you want. This guy will make it for you. It's a great, great uh, website, and they make awesome mugs. And I like that they make the inside white because I don't like a dark coffee mug because I like to see what's going on. I want to know how, just how thick my mud is, right? All right, something else this week. I'm going to talk to you about a little tip. Somebody asked me, what's the best way to store ground coffee? That's kind of a goofy question because, you know, it's like, uh, what's the best way to pick up a porcupine? Well, you know, there really isn't a best one, but if you're going to, you know, pick them up by the head, or I don't know. But when you're storing ground coffee, you are storing coffee that is like a ticking time bomb. You're trying to uh, bottle a grenade and hopefully it doesn't go off. What the best thing to do is to grind your coffee fresh, right? And any any kind of coffee is going to be impacted negatively by heat, light, and air, oxygen. Those are the big the big things that are going to make your coffee not taste so good. So you want to eliminate those things. There's a couple different storage containers. The coffee vac is one that's really easy to use, and it's very very affordable. Um, I've had a post about that before, and Really, just I can't stress enough that you should use whole bean coffee because if you use ground coffee and you're trying to store that, you're not going to have optimal flavor by not even close. But if you have to do it, I guess that's kind of how I'd tell you to do it. Make sure that you get entered for the free coffee giveaways. You can enter right through my Facebook page or you can just click the little win coffee button on the side of the Facebook page, facebook.com slash coffeenate1. Or you can leave a comment on any post on this blog or any other blog post here at coffeenate.com. Or sign up for the email list. Those are all different ways you can get entered. Retweet my tweets on Twitter. Use the hashtag coffeenateme. And those are all different ways you can get entered. It's very easy to do. Each time you do it, you will get an extra entry. Although, you know, you can only sign up for the email list once. So just everybody's tied at one for that method. But uh, if you use, if you leave contributing blog comments, you'll get a uh, point for each one of those posts. So um, leave comments, retweet, and share the share the love, share this contest with other people that you know. Those are ways that you're going to be able to uh, earn more entries. And if you share with a friend, there's so much coffee for giveaway, you know what, they'll have to call you up and share with you. All right, thanks again for joining me this week, coffeenate.com. I'll see you next time because there's always something brewing. Bang!